Hi, welcome to my full review of the new Callaway Epic Flash 3 wood. So recently done reviews of the drivers on my channel, you can go and check those out, featuring this very new technology that Callaway brought out with this flash face, a supercomputer, artificial intelligence, creating higher ball speeds off the club face. Maybe sort of saw a little bit of that glimpse through the drivers. Let's see if the three wood is up to the scratch with the drivers. We've got jailbreak still in there. We're going to test it. We've got GC2 HMT. Let's see my thoughts on this three wood and maybe if this is something for you to go out there and try yourselves. Okay, so just before we jump into the video, if you enjoy the content I'm putting out there, then please consider hitting that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you get notifications of any future videos that land on my channel. You'll be one of the very first ones to watch it. Share the video around. If you've got some pals that are Callaway enthusiasts, share this video, send it to them, share it on social media, get the, uh, get the video spread out there as much as you can. If you want to follow me on social media platforms, then obviously Instagram and Twitter, and the both handles there are at MNGolfCoach. Okay, so Epic Flash Fairway Wood. So another big launch from Callaway, as you'd expect, start of the year. And the flash face is the real big sort of talking point through their range of woods and the products. So just going through that quickly, basically Callaway purchased a supercomputer that has basically developed 15,000 virtual prototypes to get to where we are with flash face. So it's analysing the club face where strikes are occurring across all of the club face and create the fastest points across every section of this club face, which is where we get to in flash face. So that technology continues into the fairway woods. Uh, so the look of it as you presented down by the golf ball is very similar shaping to what you see with the driver. Obviously we've got that nice sort of green yellow lipstick in around that gl black gloss fi uh, finish with that carbon sort of effect on the top. Obviously underneath it's pretty, as the name, it's pretty flash underneath you know with the, with the colours there, the green and the yellow. We've got a weighted screw at the back section of the sole, so that's obviously pulling CG down low and also back, helping to maybe get a little bit of launch with this. Still seeing jailbreak technology in there, uh, which is supporting the crown to the sole and transferring energy back into the club face and obviously back into the golf ball. Let's get this first one hit. It does sit quite nicely behind that golf ball. It's a nice sort of shape, quite confidence-inspiring head behind the ball. That's nice, nice sound to that. A little bit of a more duller sound to that. That was one thing I found with the drive. It was quite a loud crack, acoustic wise, it was a little bit higher pitch. That first hit there was definitely a little bit more of a muted sound, which I like. Now there's quite a few different shaft options as stock uh, that are available through the fairway woods. And obviously this is a, the process you need to go through, maybe through a fitting event. I've actually got the Tensai Blue, which is a 75 gram for three wood shaft, and this is in an X Flex. So, bit more of a sort of low to mid launch, which tends to suit me a little bit, uh, a little bit better. Yeah, it is a very nice sound to that. Push that one a little bit on that right hand side. Fairway woods for me, or a three wood, I'm never that comfortable hitting fairway woods. I got out to 265, that one. Um, grew up more of a one iron, two iron sort of uh, player and always really sort of favoured the longer irons as opposed to maybe a fairway wood. So I never feel sort of comfortable with a fairway wood. And probably some of you might have seen my review videos of fairway woods in the past. I tend to, f you know, if I can find a fairway wood that I really like, and it gets some decent results, I tend to sort of go with it, but even then when I'm playing, it doesn't come out of the bag that often, to be fair. So this head is a forged 455 carpenter steel uh, material here, which is what Callaway is saying, and it's still featuring their Cup 360 design, which is basically allowing to a little bit more flex around the perimeter of the club face. So again, helping with sort of ball speed. So you've got jailbreak there, helping with ball speed. We've got Cup 360, so there's a bit of tech happening in this particular head. Let's get this next one hit. It does sit nice behind the ball. Probably the one negative I have, which, which is again a personal view of mine, it just sits a little bit towed in, a little bit closed as I look at it. It looks like it points left. Now, for me, I don't really like that because my bad shot tends to be a little bit more uh, sort of left. So that's probably the only real negative there. It does sit a little bit in a closed appearance. For a lot of golfers, that might well suit you, but for me, Maybe not, that's maybe where the Sub-Zero version will probably sit a little bit squarer. Mm. 
Yeah, so that's a little bit low in the club face there, but that's clipped up and got away quite quite nicely. Probably just drop maybe a little bit of distance for that because of the strike. Yeah, so got out to 251, dropped a bit of distance there, a bit low in the in the club face. Okay, I'm just gonna hit a couple off a small tee now. Um, see how it sort of performs, obviously off the tee. They, they were obviously off the uh, off the ground there. Okay, so just got this off a small tee, so maybe a little bit more, if you're obviously hitting off a tee box uh, for a bit more maybe positional play. Let's see how this performs. So maybe expect to see some strikes, a little bit high up the face, maybe slightly higher launch, possibly a few more yards out of this. Yeah, there we go. So there was a higher launch. Slightly higher in that club face. That should get a bit more carry. There we go, yeah, and a bit, little bit more distance there. So 271, 252 carry through the air. Now we still have adjustable, or the Callaway adjustable neck sleeve on this particular uh, fairway wood. So I've got three wood here, it's 15 degrees of loft. I've got it set at 15 with a square setting. So pretty neutral it's setting, but we have still got the full adjustable sleeve so go down one degree up two degrees with some draw settings in there also so you can dial in that loft a little bit more uh, accurately in a way to suit you but there is obviously a lot of um, there's, there's actually a lot of options the fairway just looking at that is quite surprising do a three plus which is that strong 13 and a half degree three wood maybe a good backup possibly for a drive if the driver's not on song then your traditional three wood then they've got five wood the heaven wood seven wood nine wood and eleven wood the nine and eleven wood are only available in right hand only the rest are all left hand but it surprised me they still offer the especially the 9 and 11 wood because a lot of uh, golfers would tend to go in the hybrids and when they get into that sort of area but obviously still some are like in that fairway wood so it's still in the range yeah I like that it's a, it's a very nice sort of sound to it much much better sound for me personally than the actual drivers maybe just because the size of the head obviously it's, slight, it's a smaller hollow section there so maybe the sound doesn't roll around or clatter around as much as it does with the driver so it's a nice sort of crack bit more of a positive crack there it looks nice just sits a bit close for my liking but maybe the sub-zero would suit me a little bit better on that front okay let's go look at some numbers a little bit more detail between uh off the ground and off the tee with the epic flash three wood okay so looking at some numbers obviously we've got the ones off the ground there and a couple off the tee towards the end so um, see the ball speed just a little bit quicker off the tee to be fair club head speed was a little bit fast that first was a little bit of a hesitant hit really I think 105 uh, didn't really sort of commit to that maybe uh, so it's just probably just pull that speed down a little bit so launching you can see just a little bit higher there with the launch as you'd expect off that tee ball just sat in the air you can just hit it a little bit higher in that club face just launches it a little bit easier spins a touch lower there also again strikes slightly hope in the face that first one's definitely a a more up in the face strike so that launched a little bit higher and pulled a little bit of spin off which obviously helps with a little bit of that distance at the end so big difference of peak height there 31 to 39 so again it's the, that difference of being off the tee and off the ground 242 against 251 so as i expect and i predict a little bit more length with the ones off the tee Okay guys, there we go. There's the Epic Flash 3 Wood or Fairway Wood reviewed. And that's a nice performing golf club. As I say, I'm not a great fan of 3 Woods, but that, you know, that is nice. The only downside to me is it just sits a little bit towed in. But obviously that's where they then offer a sub-zero version with that, an extra weight at the front. So a little bit lower launch and lower spinning. And I'm guessing that'll sit a lot squarer when you present it down by the golf ball. So that review will be coming shortly. Feels good. I like the sound of it. It's, you know, epic flash, uh, in terms of, sorry, the flash face, it's hard to really sort of measure that exactly, see if it's that getting more ball speed. Saw so some little increases maybe with the driver, so um, would you really need that in the fairway? Well, that's maybe the, the question I've got to you there, because um, a lot of guys I find will hit three wood nearly as far as the driver, so sometimes don't get that separation there. Uh, possibly that's where, where five would come in you can then start de-lofting it through the next sleeve etc but again you've got to go and get the fitted the guys, guys that's the whole sort of idea with this loads of options loads of settings loads of shaft options go and get yourself fit 
Any comments on this video, please fire them down below in the comments section. Love to hear your thoughts on the Epic Flash range as a whole, but also the fairway woods. And let me know what you're carrying fairway wood wise. Is it three wood, five wood, seven wood? Is it just a five wood? Is it just a three wood? Love to know your what's in your bag, basically. Thanks very much for watching, appreciate it as always. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Hit that logo, hit the bell icon. Also follow my social media platforms for both Instagram and Twitter at MNGolfCoach and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.